Hi, I'm an applications engineer here at Teledyne LaCroix, and I would like to answer the frequently asked question, how do I set up pass-fail testing on parameters? It is quick and easy to set up pass-fail testing on parameters. Let me show you how. Today we are using an HDO 6000 oscilloscope, but this answer applies to all of our Maui Extreme oscilloscopes with advanced math capability. On the screen, you can see we have two pulses, one on channel 1 and another on channel 2. For this example, we have a specification that the pulses may not exceed the maximum voltage of 545 millivolts. First, we will set up a parameter to measure the maximum voltage of each pulse. Select Measure and Measure Setup. Select the Measure tab and check the Show Table checkbox. Select P1 tab and set the source to channel 1 and set the measurement to maximum. This will give us the maximum voltage in the waveform. We set P2 to make the same measurement on channel 2. Now click Analysis and Pass Fail Setup. Check the Testing checkbox. Select the Q1 tab and set the source to P1 and set the condition to Parameter Compare. Beneath the Parameter Compare tab, we set the limit to test against. We set the less than limit to 545 millivolts. Q2 is set up the same way. Then, beneath the Actions tab, we enable the condition for the pass or fail test. We set the pass condition to all true. Beneath if, we select the fail condition. This generates the fail condition if either of the two pulses is greater than 545 millivolts. Beneath then, several options for actions are displayed. The options allow us to save a waveform, stop acquiring, sound an alarm, output a pulse, save an image, or save a lab notebook database. We will select Lab Notebook, which fully documents the condition of any failure. We set the oscilloscope to normal trigger mode, and when there is a failure, the Lab Notebook is stored. This is how we set up pass-fail testing on parameters. For more answers to frequently asked questions, go to teledynelacroix.com faq.